Y'all need to hear what this lady said. Ladies need to hear this. Guys need to hear this. We all need to hear this. Let's get right to this. Almighty push. I went on a first date. And when I opened the door, my man was at my front door. And I was like, oh, sh like, right? <laughs> and then he hit me with the Rico. He pulled the flowers out. And I was like, wow, this is different, right? So I'm not even paying attention. I brush past this trying to walk down the steps and get to the door, right? Because I'm not paying attention. I'm just so not used to it. And it just hasn't, like, I just didn't have a lot of practice. He opened my car door. I get inside. He closed the door. I immediately went to my group chat. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> did you say he opened your car door? High five. No, High five. no, 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 no. Now, let me explain, right? Let me explain. By the time we got to the restaurant, my follow-up text was, y'all, that's my bad. I, ain't, I just realized I ain't, and all that stuff we be talking about, we don't really want it. And I felt mm. like he technically did everything that we be saying we be wanting. In my mind, instinctively, my first thought was he corny, but he really did everything that we want. But it what this lady saying, to be honest, is something that, I, you know, I've come to realize and it's not for everybody, but for the majority of, you know, especially ladies, uh, even guys as well. But it seems to be that people say they want this and this and that and that they want to be taken care of. They want da, 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 da. When that finally comes to them, they don't realize it because they're looking at other things, either checking for red flags or whatever it is. But they miss those things that they want. And in this situation, especially when it comes to ladies, we can say that, you know what I'm saying? Like, lady wants to be taken care of. She want to do this. She want to guy. Da, da, da. Once the guy does it because she's not so used to it. Oh, sir. Oh, what the hell? You, you, you lame. You weird. You, you know what I'm saying? You nerdy. You whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? You corny. It's corny for you to, you know, do the romantic thing. Oh, you, we just met. Are you trying to da, 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 da. All this good stuff. But they, they say they want that. They will always go, you know what I'm saying? Same thing with guys. Guys be like, you know, I want a girl that's going to do this, take care of it. You know what I'm saying? And she comes in, she's doing all that. You like, man, get out of my business too much. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All that good stuff. It be happening, bro. Like, it, it, it's all about perspective, man. Like, it's really what you're looking at. Like, a lot of people, I feel like when it comes to dating, folks just be focused on trying to make sure the person checks all the boxes, the red flags and this and that and that and that. And they miss out on living in the moment. Like, old girl was just saying, man, hey, she, she, she was just trying, she was trying to go. Where was she trying to go? The guy that she's trying to see is right there. You know what I'm saying? So where, was she, where else was she trying to go to? You know what I'm saying? He's right there at the door. He pops out the flowers. She's like, man, you know what I mean? Woo -woo. And then she realized, you know, she realizes after a while, like, oh, yo, like, yo. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it really just takes us kind of catching our breath, like, think twice. I, I used to hear this, hear this thing a lot when, you know, in uh, high school. Think twice, act right. You know what I'm saying? You think twice, you most likely gonna act right. You know what I'm saying? Think about it over it again. And that's she that's what she was saying. She and she admits it, you know what I'm saying? Oh man, I realize, you know what I mean? And this happens a lot. You know what I'm saying? I, I just I feel like, you know what I'm saying, this is a you know, the her situation is nothing, it's not necessarily extraordinary. It's a very common thing. We just don't realize it. Especially not just only in relationships, in life in general. We might be looking for something and it might come to us, maybe in a raw form or in some kind of, you know, some other form. But this is what we're asking for, and we tend not to even, you know what I'm saying? We're like, oh, that's not, you know what I mean? We just, and it takes us either losing the thing or way later on into it, we're like, oh, that is what I was looking for, you know, da, da, da. and that's just, it, it be like that with life, you know what I'm saying? It's a process. So I'm going to say this, going into dating, going out, you know, to whatever, this, I'm not making this about, you know, attacking ladies or nothing that, but, you know, we need to, we all, men and women, we need to pay attention to these things. You know what I'm saying? Not out here. We need to live in the moment. We, we don't need to be out here trying to pick out red flags and this and that and that and that. Just live in the moment. What's going to happen is going to happen. You know what I'm saying? You can only, bro. I was saying this thing to, to the homie uh, yesterday. I was like, bro, even when we manifest this stuff, it might come in different forms, just like I said, right? And ultimately, it comes down to what's going to happen is going to happen. You're going to receive what you're going to receive, and you're going to notice what you're going to notice. If you, you know, if, if it, ain't, it, it ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, regardless, like some, some people will say, like my mom used to say, if God wants to bless you, it don't matter where you are, you're going to bless you regardless. Like, you could be sitting at home, you know what I'm saying, that blessing going to come, you can be doing whatever, and that blessing still going to come. So ultimately, all you got to do is just let it, you know, let it go. Try to build, try to think positive, and you know what I'm saying, keep living that life. When it comes to dating, for sure, you know what I'm saying? We need to really understand what we want, but we, we can only understand that by going through experiences, you know what I'm saying? So as life goes on, we're going to realize what we want and what we don't want, you know what I'm saying? And, and like the girl was saying, she, you know what I'm saying? The first time it was like, oh, uh, uh, and then she realized, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it happens, you know what I'm saying? Some ladies, 
Some guys go through the whole date or whatever it is or relationship and, you know what I'm saying, not realizing that they have what they, you know what I'm saying, what they've been looking for until it's passed. And then they're like, damn, I, oh, that's what I, you know, I wanted that. I like that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It be like that. Y'all let me know. If you, if you experience something like this, ladies, let me know. Guys, let me know. You know what I'm saying? If you agree, disagree, let me know in the comment section because I definitely want to, you know, get y'all's input, you know, in this situation because for sure, I know that for a fact. That most of us talk about things that we don't like, things that we want come to us, and we, we just we don't we don't we don't notice it. We really don't. You know what I'm saying? We too focused on the other stuff and we miss out on the stuff we're looking for. Y'all let me know what y'all think, of course, in the comment section. Check out my previous videos, your boy Almighty you already know, man. Subscribe. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't subscribed, you know what I mean? And uh stay mighty because we almighty. I'm out. Almighty push.